Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com. This is episode 25 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to give you a tip that you could do with the graduated filter in Lightroom. Now, as we look at this image here, uh, this is an image where I exposed for the sky. I didn't want the sky to be blown out, so they call that exposing for the highlights. But in doing so, you can see that the shadows are very, very dark. So when I started adjusting this image and I went over to the basic panel, I opened up the shadows as much as possible. I brought highlights down to even add a little more drama to the sky. I adjusted my white and black point as I typically do, clarity, vibrance, everything else. I did the tone curve like I normally do. But as I look at the image, I mean, it's an okay image. It's not award-winning by any stretch of the imagination, but it was the perfect image to demonstrate this technique to you, and that's why I'm showing it to you in this video. As we look at it, though, maybe those shadows are still a little too dark. And I guess if I did want to print this, it is kind of dark. A lot of times you don't want expansive shadows in a print. They just don't look good hanging on the wall. You'd like a little more detail in the darker areas of your photos. But what could I do? I have shadows all the way turned down. Oh, of course, I could go to the exposure slider and I could just add more, more exposure. But then I'm defeating the entire purpose that I did when I shot the image by exposing for the highlights. I'm adding a lot more brightness to the sky as well. I'm adding exposure to the entire image. So I'm losing the drama that I was going for if I turn exposure up. Now I could go and get a brush and with a brush I could carefully brush in some more uh, compensation for the shadows. But when I do that, I got to be very careful I don't bleed over into the clouds. I could get haloing along the building, and it takes time. So using uh, a brush is problematic. Well, another thing you could do is get a graduated filter. Now, most of us know to use a graduated filter, we normally draw it down from the top or up from the bottom, and it gives you a graduated effect. And to demonstrate that, I'm just going to get the exposure slider, and I'm just going to turn exposure all the way down. And I'm going to simply drag the filter straight down. And you can see it gives this graduated look. I mean, we all know that. Well, that's not really what I want either, because I want to adjust just the castle. Now I could get rid of that. I could kind of come up from the corner like this and do some adjust. But again, it's graduated. The entire castle wouldn't be graduated in the same way and it could affect the rest of the image where I don't want it to be affected. So what can you do? Well, take the graduated filter and instead of doing it the typical way, graduating or um, drawing it into the middle of the image from one of the corners or from the top or the bottom, go to any corner. I'm going to go to the lower right hand corner and get real tight to the corner and start there, click down, and instead of dragging it into the image, drag it out just like that and let go. Now when I turn exposure all the way down, you'll see that the entire image is being affected evenly by the graduated filter. So when I hover over that little button, we'll see the tool overlay is even across that entire image. So now I have all these adjustments now became just like these basic adjustments. I could apply them to the entire image and I want to increase some exposure into the shadow. So I'm going to turn that up. I might bring highlights down a little bit and I want to bring whites down just a touch. I want to just bring blacks up just a little. So I'm now making the image flatter looking, but it's kind of giving it more of a twilight feel. Um, like this image was actually shot around 11 in the morning. And you could see it almost was like a high noon type shot until I started adjusting it. So now I'm giving it more of a twilight uh, feel, like it's the sun is is about to go down even though it's very bright right there. I could add some clarity if I want. So any of these things, they're going to be applied to the entire image, saturation, anything. So this is a really cool trick to do. If you do the opposite, maybe you have an image that's overexposed and you really um, don't want to use the exposure slider because it's going to affect the entire image. You just want to maybe bring those highlights more in line. So you bring the highlight slider in the basic panel all the way down. You could do this trick with the graduated filter and then bring the highlight slider in this 
tool all the way down and it will affect only the highlights throughout the entire image. So uh, give that a try. I think that this is a very useful trick and it will come in handy in a lot of situations. Um, that's really it for this episode. I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos. And actually, before I go, let me say, because I, you know, in case anyone didn't notice, I always get asked about the camera and settings. It was a Fujifilm X-T1 camera, 1 680th of a second at f16, ISO 200, 23 millimeter lens, um, and very simple shot, just like that. And I metered on the sky. I focused on this lamp. Um, that's it. I'd like to thank, again, everyone. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I truly, truly appreciate it. I hope this tip helps you, and I'll talk to you guys soon.